Okay, friends. Wow. Thanksgiving is here already, and we're going to prepare turkey. And look at this one. That's a 27-pound bird I got for you guys. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> I've done thousands of classes teaching people how to cook turkey, and this is the simplest recipe you can possibly make. You cannot screw this one up. Okay? First, if we're going to get a frozen turkey, 27-pound turkey, you know how long it takes? One week. One week from the freezer into the refrigerator, let it defrost very, very slowly. One more, one more statement I gotta make. This is not one of them quick five minutes video, okay? You can't do everything I'm gonna be doing in five minutes. You want a five minutes video about turkey, you go to TikTok, TikTok, talk, whatever the hell they call those. <laughs> they do it fast, so yeah, they do it so fast you have no idea what the hell they're doing. But here you're gonna know everything. So the turkey has been defrosted uh, one week, and, uh, and, and I left it out a little bit, so it's kind of like, not room temperature, but it's not, f f not really, really cold, because otherwise I won't be able to rub it with butter, okay? Because we're gonna put a lot of butter, butter is good. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, friends, is, um, uh, is uh, we're gonna prepare to go in a roasting pan, because this, this bird is gonna take about five hours to cook, so I better get going and put it in the oven, okay? So we're gonna put a little salt and pepper on the inside of the bird. Don't be afraid, salt and pepper inside of the birds, right? Here we go, inside. Ooh, right there, salt and pepper inside. And then we're gonna stuff the inside with some onion right there that I cut and peeled already. I don't put stuffing inside the turkey, friends. Meaning stuffing like, uh, you know, the stuffing I cook separately. We're gonna make a separate video for that, okay? And then we're gonna make a separate video for the gravy also, okay? We're gonna make a bunch of videos so you can cook a fabulous Thanksgiving. I got apple in there, okay? I got oranges, I got lemon, I got um, uh, rosemary, I got sage, you gotta put sage, eh? and you put it inside. Stuff it inside, don't be afraid, friends. Put in much inside as you can, and when you don't think you can put any more, you can put, you just stuff it more. And you know, remember the, the, the I, got, I removed the, all of the stuff on the inside, the gizzard, the liver, the heart, um, and the neck, and the neck, because we're gonna make the gravy with the neck. I'm gonna show you how to make a fabulous gravy. It's gonna be on a separate video, okay? Holy mama mia, look at this, folks. So when you don't think you can put any more in there, shove it up a little bit more. Put a couple of cloves of garlic in there. All right, don't be afraid. You know what's gonna happen. The fruits and the vegetables are gonna cook and they're gonna perfume the inside of that bird. You're gonna, you're gonna pick it up, it's gonna smell like oranges and apples and, uh, and, and, and the sage and the rosemary. It, it, it's gonna be beautiful. And you put it all in there like that. Stuff it. Don't be afraid to put. Look at it. I can't put any more. Uh, put it as much as you can in there, okay? So now it's good, all right? So now we're good. So now what do we do with the turkey? Well, you see a lot of people uh, take their wings and do things with it. Yeah, well, you know what I like to do with the wings? I like to take it. All right? I'm going to do it, flip it on the other side. First, we're going to remove a little extra skin, okay? We don't need all this right there. So we remove, okay? So extra fat, we don't need all that. So you remove a little bit of this right there, okay? You take it and then you put it uh, right here. Here you go, I'm not gonna use those anymore anyway. All right, so now what we do, what I do is I take the leg, the, the, the wings right there, and I give it a karate chop, do you see? And I, I take it and, and I completely fold them, you see? Completely fold them, we'll do the same thing on the other side, you see? Now, you may have to have somebody help, helping you. Especially, there you go. Especially when it's a big one like this one, you see? Right there. So now I got the two wings, okay? And what happened is, look how cool that is. You see? Now it's kind of like on its own rack. So if you have a rack, then you're gonna put it on there. You're good, but if you don't have a rack, look, I just created a rack with the two wings. How cool is that? Don't be afraid to put more, 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 okay? And, and you know, I have my, uh, my water with my soap in here because I don't want to turn uh, my back to you and go wash my hands, so I do it like this, you see? I have a little soap right there, and I have some sanitizer in there, so now I like to clean up as I go, okay? So now, the next thing we're gonna do, friends, I am gonna put some butter on there. Let me get some, oh, here you go, dry towel. 
All right, I'm gonna, I like to wash my hands. And what I like to do is I like to dry the turkey a little bit. So let me get a pepper towel. Let me get a pepper towel to dry it a little bit. Okay, so the butter will stick. We're just gonna rub it. We're gonna give it a good massage with butter. So you see how cool that is, the, the leg thing, right? The leg, the, I mean, not the leg, the, uh, the wing thing, because now it's staying beautiful, you see? It's staying on its own right. Otherwise, it just goes like this, you know? It keeps moving around. All right, butter. Butter, 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 butter. Lots of butter. Let me remove this stuff around. So we have it. Did I put everything in there? I think I did, right? Okay, so now we're going to rub butter. You can, uh, now, if I wasn't doing a video, I'd probably be doing it with my hand. But uh, I know the recipe police on YouTube are going to go, oh, my God, and he's touching it with his hand. Oh, I hate when my doctor does that. <laughs> so look, look, I got the rubber gloves in there, and I'm just going to give it a good massage. Now that I got the gloves, I can really do it. And no uh, YouTube recipe police is going to give me any hard time. <laughs> All right, here we go, friends. You ready? So when your doctor does that, you walk out of the room right away. So look, here we go, folks. Put a butter on there. Now, the butter is soft. Eh? I took it out this morning. And uh, 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 don't be afraid. We're going to put a lot of butter. It doesn't matter how much butter you put in, friends. Because the only butter that's going to stay is the one that's going to get this beautiful golden brown color. And you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. It's a beautiful bird. By the time I'm done with it, it's going to be a beautiful bird. You don't worry about nothing. You watch it. Don't be afraid. So what we're going to do, oh, yeah, baby. Look at this. You see? Now, the butter cannot be uh, separated, okay? It has to be a little soft so you can do this. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do this, okay? You're not going to be able to do this. You want to just, like, paint it on there. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this. So remember what I told you, right? That turkey, one week to defrost for a 27 pound. On our website... We're going to put exactly how long it takes to cook it uh, based on the weight and everything. So you can go to the website and download. We'll, um, we'll put like a chart. I had it right here to show you. And uh, there's a chart with the cooking time and everything. But the secret, friends, the secret, if you're going to buy a frozen turkey, you buy a fresh turkey, you obviously you don't have to deal with it. But if you buy a frozen turkey, you got to give it a long time to defrost, okay? A 20-pound turkey, like I said, this one right there. Uh, take a week, one week. You know the cool part of it is Thanksgiving is on a Thursday, right? <laughs> this is by the Thursday before. <laughs> it's easy to remember. Oh, goodness, I got one week left, okay? So look, a piece of garlic in there. Put it right on there. Rub it in. Rub it in, friends. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Don't be afraid. Wherever you don't put butter, it's not going to be pretty, okay? Oh, yeah. So now, you could also put butter underneath the skin, put sage in it, put a bunch of stuff. This is the easiest recipe. I have so many different recipes that I do, but I wanted to do a simple one for this year. Next year, we'll make it a little more complicated, okay? This year, I wanted to make it simple where everybody can do it, okay? This is not, there's not, remember, the butter has to be soft, okay? So now, I don't want to make too much of a mess. I'm going to take my turkey, I'm going to put it on the rack, I got the rack already. When did you see that rack when I take it off? It's really cool. Uh, it comes apart, right? So the rack has been sprayed with a nonstick spray. It's important. We're going to take it and we're going to put it on the rack and then we're going to go in the oven. All right, look, very simple. The preheated oven, three and a quarter, 350, depends your oven. And we don't change the temperature. We don't do anything. We don't baste it. You want to baste it, you got nothing else to do. You go ahead and baste it. Trust me, I've been doing this my whole life, and, and it works beautiful. You, you'll see, you'll see. We'll, we'll go over it. All right, so look, take the turkey now. See, it's on its own rack. How cool is that? Right, you take the turkey right there, and you put it right in there, and don't worry about a thing, okay? Let me take my lovely gloves out, wash my hands a little bit, and now I'm going to take that turkey, and I'm going to show you the most important part, friends. We're going to put the thermometer, okay? Where does the thermometer go? Okay, this is a really cool thermometer. I love those thermometer because uh, I'm gonna put it in, right? I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna show you where. 
I'm going to put the timer at 155, and when it's 155, it's going to beep at me. So it's really cool. Uh, all right, so look, you can put a thermometer. You want to put that thermometer here at the joint, not on you, okay, on the turkey. <laughs> you want to put it at the joint. That's the last part of the turkey is going to cook is the joint right in there, right? So the leg goes this way, boom. Oh, by the way, the two legs were tied together. That's the way they, 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 they take the skin and put it on. You're good. Don't even mess with them. You don't need to do anything. If it happens, then somehow those two, this came loose on you, the, um, the, the skin that is holding the two legs, t take a twine and tie them. You got to tie them, otherwise, would you know what happened? The leg up and up and it dries out the breast. It overcooks the breast. So you got to keep those two legs together just in case yours did not come tied up correctly, okay? You see, there's so many things to say, then, and then it's difficult to do it a, a quick video for friends. So look, now pay attention. I'm gonna go in, I know the joint is right right there. So this is where the leg is, boom, boom. So the joint is right there. See, people think it's over there. No, no, it's right there. You go in, right? You go in, you go in, oop. Make sure, you see when you feel a bone, stop. You don't wanna be in the bone because if you're in the bone, the bone is hotter than the breast, than the, than the meat. So we don't wanna be on the bone. So we will go in and when we touch it, oop. We lift it up a little bit. And that's all we need to do. So uh, look how cool that is, right? So now, I don't like aluminum. You know, I hate aluminum. But there's no other way around it for Thanksgiving. We gotta do that. We're gonna put a piece of aluminum paper for the first um, hour. And when it really, really, really uh, 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 started cooking, an hour, an hour and a half, then we'll take it out and we'll brown it. And we'll keep this aluminum in case it gets too brown. If we don't do that, it's gonna get brown really fast, but it's not gonna be cooking. So look, don't put the thing in the butter like I just did, right? So look how cool this is, right? You take it, this, right there. I'm gonna go in the oven, okay? I'll show you. All right, so now I take this. I'm gonna open up my oven. And normally I got my assistant to do, but he's, he's taking off today. <laughs> look, look, guys. We go in. Let's make sure that my thermometer is right there. I'm going to the oven. The oven is preset at three and a quarter. Three and a quarter, right? Look, 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 look how cool this is, okay? I take the dough. I got a cool oven, huh? That's a really cool oven. Look, look. I take the thermometer right there, right? It's right there. It's right there. Where's the other side of the thermometer? Hold on. Oh, it's right there. Look, 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 look. How cool is that, right? I got this right there set up at 155. I put it right there. I put it on my fridge and I go start and start. And right now it's reading. Then um, uh, we are at uh, 47 degrees on the inside, which is good. It's supposed to be cold, right? And, uh, and I got it going. I said, let me know when it's 155. So when it's 155, we're going to take it out. We're going to let it rest. And I'm going to show you how to carve a beautiful turkey, OK? All right, so that's part one. Prepare the turkey. Pop it in the oven. Now we're going to do a part two, which is to take it out and carve it. Okay, friends. Just to cut the turkey a few minutes ago, because it's hot, <laughs> and I don't want to burn myself. Remember, friends, I took cut the, um, the, the turkey, the inside thermometer, inside right there, straight down. Was 155, 160, both sides. Make sure one doesn't lie, okay? So they're both the same side, okay? Make sure you take it. And check it out, and check it out, and check it out. 155, 160, they tell you to cook a turkey at 180. Don't listen to them. Okay, the turkey will be overcooked. That's why you get one of those, all right? So now what do we do? We want to make a, a pretty again. So I take the dripping of the, uh, look how beautiful that is. I love a nice uh, a golden brown turkey, okay? If you don't like it so brown, they keep an aluminum foil on it more. I just keep the aluminum foil for the first hour. That's it, hour and hour and hour and a half. And then you gauge it on it. The aluminum foil, the only purpose of the aluminum foil is only to decide how dark you want it to be. If you don't want it to be as dark as mine, then just keep the aluminum on it. If you want it to be darker, just uh, take it off. It's very simple. The aluminum paper <laughs> determines the color of it. We're gonna take a little bit of the fruits that we have in here. They say apple, the uh, tomatoes. We take a little bit of the fruit and we'll use some of those for decoration uh, later on, okay, so I take I take him out, and now uh, you you, know, you notice it's still on a rack, right? So I want to show you this rack. It's really cool, friends. You see right there in the back of it, there's a pin. 
Okay, and let me move this. Ooh, this is hot. Let me move this pin right there. Look, look how cool that is, folks. See, look, you remove the pin, put the pin in a roasting pan, and instead of removing the turkey of the rock, you remove the rock of the turkey. <laughs> how cool is that? You see? Yeah, I think you find those on our, on our website. All right, look, guys. Now the turkey is straight because up, it's holding on on the, on the wings that I've been then I folded over. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to carve this, okay? I'm going to show you how to carve it. It's not difficult. I mean, it's a little tricky if it's the first time you're doing it, but I promise you it's worth the trouble, okay? It's really, you got a garlic in there. You got a bunch of stuff in there. If you could smell it right there, instead of smelling like turkey fat and grease, it smells like oranges and apple and garlic and rosemary and sage. It's a fabulous. It's beautiful, all right? So now what we need to do, we need to get pepper towels. Make sure you get pepper towels. You're gonna need like a roll of pepper towel. Now, you see my cutting boards, friends? As whole as a, a channel around it, right? It's because it's gonna release a lot of juice in there, right? And so you want pepper towels to, to suck it up. And, uh, and, and, and if, if, if you don't have the channel, then it's gonna go all over your kitchen floor. <laughs> So it's important, and I, I use a lot of pepper towels, okay? I take them, and I'm done. All right, so what tool do we need? We need a spatula. We, we, I, I call it the fish spatula. We need a boning knife. You gotta have a boning knife. I mean, if you don't have one, you have a chef's knife, so I'm sure it'll work, but the boning knife is easier, right? We need a slicer, and the slicer is gonna give us some really, really nice thin slices of the turkey, and, and, a, and a big fork. If you don't have a big fork, you can manage with that, but I think it's easier with a big fork. Okay, those, those two I must have, okay? All right, so now what do we do? We're gonna open up the leg, so we release the, the leg, the skin, right? And now we're gonna open up the leg. We're gonna go in, and, uh, and I think the best view for you is gonna be above, I think, because I can't do the other one. Maybe I'm trying to figure out for the camera so where you can see the best way the best side, but I think you're gonna be able to see here perfectly well, friends. So we're gonna cut right there, and we hope we have a little bit of red. If we have a little bit of red in the joint, that means we did not overcook the turkey. If we have no red at all, probably means the breast is gonna be a little bit overcooked. Okay, if it happens to you and you have a little red, I'll show you a trick, okay? First of all, I gotta go get a cookie sheet. So don't go anywhere. All right, so I take a cookie sheet out so that I can Take the legs and put them on there, okay? So I want to show you. Because like I said, it could happen that when you take it out, you have a little red, and I don't want you to freak out like, oh, my turkeys are not, over it's not uh, cooked correctly. It's perfectly fine to have a little red. So what we do, we take the, um, the, the big fork, we try to find the joint, and we try to find the joint. It's not always easy to find. You kind of have a guess a little bit. See, if you look at the turkey, the, the leg goes this way and this way, so the joint is somewhere around here. It's closer to the opening than you think, okay? It, it, it really is closer to the opening than you think. And what we're going to do now, we're going to push the turkey uh, uh, breast on one side, and we're going to push the leg on the other side, and we're going to pull. And we're going to pull, and we're going to cut, and we're going to find the joint. As soon as we find the joint, it's right there, you see? You probably can't see it because it's difficult with a camera view. But look, folks, it's right there. You see? It's between this bone and this bone right there. You cut, all right? And you cut straight. Now, if you see a little red, let's say you see a little red right there. You go, oh, my God. There's a little red right here. Just do this. Put it upside down so you don't have to look at it. <laughs> see right there? You don't have to look at it. And you're going to say, oh, my God, it's still there. No, no, it's, don't worry. Would I give you something no good? Look, we're going to take a pepper towel, friends. We've got to clean. We've got to clean our area. If we don't work with a pepper can with a clean area, how are we going to do this? Okay, so hold on. You see all that juice right there? Oh, yeah, baby. This is going to be... Now we're going to do the other leg, okay? And then we're going to... See? You just got to have your own roll of pepper, <laughs> pepper towel when you do this, okay? We're going to do this again, okay? We can keep this in there like that. We're going to do exactly the same thing one more time, okay? All right, so remember, we take the, 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 um, the fork, we try to find the, um, what happened to my bony knife? Oh, here you go. 
<laughs> so you put the fork in and trying to find a joint, and you're going to push the fork down and put the, push the breast on the other side, and you push, and you push. This is, this is the only complicated part, folks, I promise you. You see, you have to find that joint. If you don't find that joint, you're not going to be able to cut it. Okay? This is the only complicated part. I promise you the rest of it is easy. Find that joint. See right there? Can I see a little red right there? There you go. Do this. Don't have to look at it. <laughs> you're going to see. You're going to see in a minute. You're going to go, he was right. There's nothing left. I know. Look, friends, it's not my first rodeo, okay? This is probably my uh, 17,000 turkey. <laughs> I don't know how many I did, but think about it. Been doing this for 50 years. Every year for Thanksgiving, I cook no less than 30, 40 turkey. Every year for the last 50 years. For the last 50 years. So lots of turkey, my friends. And I'm telling you, out of all the turkey I've done, this is my simplest recipe of all. The simplest one. And it's so wonderful. It's so easy and so wonderful. I, I wish you could be here to smell it. Okay, you notice know, we're cleaning the area, okay? Okay, friends, so now... Then we have um, uh, removed uh, both legs. We're going to remove the breast. Very simple to remove the breast, okay? Like I said, it may be a little challenging for you the first time you do it. Second time, it'll get better. Third time, you can do it with your uh, hand in your pocket. So look, there's a bone right there in the back. We want to go a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right of the bone. And all we're going to do is, and we're going to use, you'll understand in a minute why is it important to use the, the boning, boning knife, okay? What we're going to do now, we're going to go a little bit left of the bones, and we're going to follow the bones the whole time. We're going to follow the bone, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute, okay? First of all, we're going to cut, we're going to cut right there, and we're going to scrape the bone up. <laughs> we're going to scrape the bone. I don't know if you can see because it's, it's a little difficult for the camera to move around, folks, but maybe you'll see when I do the other side, right? We're going to go down there. We're going to go down there. We're going to go there. If you see a little bit of pink in here, don't let it bother you. Pink is good. I, 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 I'd rather have a little pink than have a well-down turkey that is dry as bone, okay? All right? So look, so far so good. We're going to take that breast right there, and we're going to flip it right there. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> All right, now let's do the same thing on the other side. All right, so far so good. So, see, I leave a little bit, a bit of meat in here. Don't worry. There's a little meat in here. Tomorrow, I'll scrape it and make it a tuna salad. Not tuna salad. Make a turkey salad. Eh? Tuna salad. And I'm not even drinking. So, look. Now, <laughs> now we're going to cut the other breast. Okay, we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm trying to keep it so you guys can see with a camera. All right, so look. And it's, uh, it's hot. Oh, you have to wait. You should wait a good 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not, I didn't wait so long, so the turkey is very hot. Very hot, very hot. But I'm going to try not to burn myself too much. That's okay. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen, right? That's what my chefs used to tell me. All right, friends. So now, remember, we're going to pull the breast, and we're going to scrape the bone. I mean, scrape the bone, Okay. And then right there, see, we're going to get caught right there. See right there? Right there is the bone right there. That's the wishbone we're going to get right there. So we have to do, you pull the breast, pull it, look, pull it, and scrape the bone. Scrape the bone. Scrape the bone. <laughs> I'm repeating myself. You say, okay, we heard you. You already said it three times. Scrape the bone. Scrape the bone. Scrape the bone. Right? Right there. The other breast is now out. Beautiful. Look at this. Ooh, take a picture. All right? So now what do you do with this? The carcass. Nothing. <laughs> okay, you do nothing with it. The only thing you do is you put it in the fridge. Really, you do nothing with it. You put it in the fridge, and tomorrow you scrape it. Tomorrow you scrape it to, put, to make a salad or, or to put on the sandwich if there's a little bit left. That's all you do. Don't go out there and say, oh, I'm going to make a stock with it. <laughs> Waste the time. Okay, the bones have been cooking for five hours. Okay, this turkey has been cooking for five hours, friend. It's a 27-pound turkey. Do you think the bones are going to have any more flavor? Absolutely not. Nothing. So don't waste your time. You want to make a stock? Get some fresh bone. Don't be getting bones that I've cooked for four hours. My hands is clean. My cutting board is clean. I am now going to cut the turkey. All right? Done. What do we do now? We take this beautiful breast. Look at this. 
We clean it just a little bit more. Okay, there's a little fascia in there. I don't really care for that. Some people like it. Some people like all that uh, g gelatin, gelatin stuff. I don't really care for it. Okay, so I remove it. See why that stuff right there? It's up to you. You like it, you leave it on there. It's your turkey. You do it however you want it, okay? I don't like it. So look. Now, we're gonna put it on the plate, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slice that, all right? We're gonna slice it. And now, this is where, my friends, you have to have a very, very sharp knife, okay? My knife is very, very sharp, okay? It's like a razor, okay? Your knife's gotta be very sharp. If it's not very sharp, you're not gonna be able to do what I'm doing right now, okay? Because the skin, the skin, you see? It, it, it may have looked a little uh, brown when I first took it out, but you see, I like it that way. Because if it's not very brown, friends, um, it doesn't do this, it doesn't look pretty. Look, 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 look how beautiful and moist it is. You see how gorgeous that is? Look at this. This is cooked to perfection. I took it at 155, and look at this. Look at this, friends. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is go gorgeous. Yeah, let me cut this guy just a little. Ah, yeah, leave it there. I'm gonna mess with it. There you go, now look, take it the spatula, right? Take your slices, and put them right here on the dish, okay? We're gonna finish it in a minute, right? We're gonna finish it in a minute, you watch. This is very simple, friends. Push this out of the way. Look how beautiful and moist it is. Can you see it? I don't know if you guys can see it. It is gorgeous. It's so juicy. And this was a frozen turkey. This is the butterball turkey, friends. Yeah. This was frozen as hard as a rock a week ago. And look at this. It's so beautiful and moist. I didn't do a thing to it. You see, that's the key. There's people that complicate things. There's a lot of people out there that like to complicate things. I like to make them more simple, okay? Look at this, okay? God bless America, love my job. All right, so we're gonna do the other breast, same way. You see the way I'm doing it, okay? Now remember, friends, if your knife is not very, very, very sharp, you got plenty of time to get it uh, sharpened. You know, there's a lot of company online that do this for you, yeah, unless there's some in your town. A lot of the grocery store offer this service. You must have a very sharp knife. Oh, you know, um, not that it sounds very professional, but uh, I'm a mountain friends, so uh, electric knife. Nothing wrong with using electric knife. That's the time of the year, you pull it out of the box. And let me tell you, an electric knife works wonderful for this, because it'll, it'll go through that skin like nothing, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go in, and we're gonna put this in there, right there, all right? Look, look how moist it is. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see. I mean, I'll bring it all closer to the camera, but look how beautiful and moist it is. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. You know, you got all them people that say you got to brine it, you got to put it upside down for 20 minutes, you got to cook it on one leg, you got to, mama mia, you know, don't do nothing. Okay, look, look, I didn't do nothing. Look at this, look at this. It's so moist, it's amazing. Okay, it's going to be so juicy and so delicious. No brining. Just at the end, I gave a little, I, I took the silicone brush at the end, and I gave it a little, uh, little shine. That's it. Okay? But that's it. And right there. Okay, friends. So now, we're going to take the legs. We're going to take the legs. And you remember a minute ago, friends, the legs had a lot of red in there? Look. No red. It's gone. You take the leg and you go straight up. You follow the bone straight through. And this is when you have the joint. And you cut right there. And you got the joint. You got a beautiful leg right now. Okay? Now, what about the dark meat? A lot of people just serve it plain. You know, a lot of people don't like dark meat. I like dark meat. But you can't give me all that fascia stuff on it. You see all that stuff right there? That's on the skin and all that stuff. So I tell you what I do. I show you. show you. show you. This is a really cool trick, okay? So what I like to do is I, I like to clean up the, the dark meat. And there's a beautiful cap right there. See, I call it a cap. Ha <laughs> ha. See right there? Look how beautiful that is. You see? Right? Now, underneath that, you got a nice loin. Ooh! <laughs> there's that. Right? Look, look at this. See? See right there? Another beautiful piece right here, right? Plus, you got another beautiful piece right here. 
But you got to clean them. You got to clean them. Nobody likes I mean, that's not true. A lot of people like it. I don't like it. Okay? I don't like all the fascia, all the, the slimy stuff. You like it? Good. Then you eat it. You put it on there. Take your time to clean this up a little more if you want. Okay? I'm just, I got to get going here because otherwise with the tic-tac-tac people are going to complain that my videos are too long. So, <laughs> so look. Pull the leg. Cut it nice. Okay? Cut it nice now. Be nice. Okay? Look. Take the skin. You're going to need the skin for decoration. I'll show you in a minute. You watch, you watch. You're going to like it. You're going to like it. What a mess, eh? Hi, yay, yay. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's get rid of all the extra stuff. All the extra fascia right there. There's a beautiful cup right there. See the cup right there? Whoop. Right there. Beautiful. All right. Nice loin underneath there. Whoop. See? You clean it up. Trust me. It's worth it. You clean it all up. Your guests are going to eat everything. Just another loin right there. All right. Now, look. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... You can take the time to do a little more. You got the idea. Okay. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. So here's what I do. Okay. I take it right there. I take all this stuff right there. Right. All the pieces of uh, dark meat. Right. I put them here. Just in the middle. Right. Then I take the cup I was telling you about. Look, 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 look. You see what I mean? Look, look. You see? Look. Right. Then I take my skin that I saved from earlier. Right. And I put it right there. Look. You see? You saved it. You have it. A lot of people like the skin, right? So put the skin in there. Give them a skin. A lot of people like it. They don't like it. Just tell them not to eat it. <laughs> All right? Then I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to move this out of the way. I'm going to clean my hands with my rag because my hands are a mess. Well, no kidding. Look at what I just did. I made a mess. I'm going to clean this up. Out of the way. Now we're gonna finish this. We're gonna take a leg. We're gonna put it right there. Right? We're gonna put another leg. We're gonna put it on the other side. Just right there. Right? We got rosemary in there and sage. We're gonna put rosemary because it looks pretty. We're gonna put one right there. We're gonna put one right there. Hey, stand up, okay? One right there, one right there. Right? The oranges that I got from earlier that were inside cooking, the apples, we're going to put them in there. They were inside, right? They were inside right there. Right? A couple of more oranges right here, maybe. Right there. Yeah, you know, we're not uh, doing a food competition here. We're just having fun. All right? A little bit of uh, the oranges right there, just like this. All right? Do it however makes you happy, okay? It doesn't really matter. As long as you're happy, you know? This is what food is about, friend, is to make you happy, okay? As long as it makes you happy, it makes me really happy. I love it. I'm lucky that I get to do this. This is fabulous. See my friends? Right there, right? Okay, so, you know, sometimes I buy little fruits, dark fruits. Those are, are boysen berries. You can put them on the plates to make it look even prettier, okay? You can put some grapes in there. You can put some, uh, 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 um, ah, I don't like it. I'm not putting it on. Maybe one on each side, that's it, right? So uh, uh, grapes, sometimes grapes looks kind of cool on the plate, you see? Green grapes right there, just a little bit, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll have to see about that, all right? So anyway, just, you just play with it, okay? Uh, you have it right there, my friends. And this is it. And this is the Thanksgiving turkey that you can do easily at home uh, very very easy you see it was not okay so if it's your first turkey it might be a little challenging like i said friends decorate it however you want it put some uh, 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 blueberries in here some cranberries in here have fun with it remember this is what cooking is about is having fun i had a ball doing it you can do it even if it's a little challenging for your first first turkey i promise you the second one will get better Watch the video again. It's not that difficult, I promise you. If I can do it, I know you can do it too. Enjoy it and have a great Thanksgiving. And God bless America. 
And don't forget to please ring the bell so you get a notification every Thursday when we do a new video. And, and gives us a thumbs up if you like this video. And, uh, and, and don't forget to subscribe. We need subscribers. You have a great, great end of the year.